Well, who could be capable of pulling off such a feat? At this point, our U.S. military is stating that they are getting jammed by adversaries unlike they've ever seen before. They're saying that this is aggressive, it's happening on the daily, and it's pretty much an embarrassing revelation. They're saying the EC-130s. And the EC-130H is an aircraft that is specifically designed to counter and wage its own electronic warfare, and apparently they're being rendered inoperable by some adversaries on their own field. Now, there was footage here showing one of the generals talking on this, uh, Army General Tony Thomas, saying that this is daily interference now, and that the AC-130s, these gunships, are the ones that are being targeted. So someone is taking them out. Now, they're not saying specifically Russia or pointing the finger at Russia. There is back chatter that it's Russia, but Russia says, come on, we've got better things to do with our time than harass U.S. airships. Yeah, right. Be one of the main things they'd be out there trying to do, whether they want to admit it or not. Somebody out here has the technology to be jamming up our military. And it's happening every day now. It's causing big-time issues. And you have to wonder, if they can jam up all of our equipment out there, then what good is it? Can they get around it? Of course, I hear people out there all the time that just assume that the United States can win everything and has the baddest of everything. And we've seen in the past that's just not the case. Although we have come out on the top side of a lot of battles, there are many vulnerabilities. And I can't stress to you enough, the biggest vulnerability is when you've been sold out. None of this matters here on the world stage when you've been sold out and you're lied to. It's all shenanigans. That right there is what a majority of you need to start seeing and detach yourself from the damage being done by the mainstream media. I'm going to talk about this in more detail tonight. Underground World News Live, Dabu 779 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys there.